What's up guys, Derek, moreplatesmoreandace.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about scammy hair loss services and products. So um, I got hit with an ad the other day on Facebook and it showed me, uh, it was for Hair Club, UFC Hall of Famer, Forrest Griffin started to notice that his hairline was receding. He says, turns out your head doesn't actually grow. It's just your hair falling out. <laughs> um, so anyways, it basically, it was showing um, him getting this like scalp massage with this weird device and him smiling throughout it. Obviously this is a paid advertisement, but people can visually see he has a receding hairline. He's has some diffuse thinning as well. And this lady is applying this, you know, high tech next level massage device to his head and, you know, some next level treatment that stimulate, you know, breaks down all the calcification and fibrosis and starts the regrowth process and gets the blood flow in there that is otherwise not in the hypoxic environment because of hair loss, which we all know is bullshit. At the end of the day, this thing is doing absolutely nothing. It's all for show. If you use this device on your head, it's not going to do anything. I don't know if this thing is actually meant <laughs> as a treatment option at their facility, but I hope not. But anyways, one thing that it did remind me of is actually probably like years ago, I actually wrote down this as a potential blog article to go over. Somebody sent me an email saying that they went to hair club and they were quoted $3,200 for cleansers for dry scalp because they took Accutane before, minoxidil and a couple other shampoo products and a laser hat. And the quotation was $3,200 and they were asking me if it's worth it. And it's like, if these people aren't sitting down with you and literally explaining from start to finish exactly how hair loss works, what the treatment options are that they aren't able to legally give you because it's not legal for them to talk about these medications that may be experimental and or they just don't have the licensing in order to give you, they're not gonna discuss anything of that, of that nature with you. So right off the bat, you already know this company is not giving you your money's worth. If you were going to give somebody $3,200, they better damn well educate you start to finish about how the endocrine system works, how the HPTA works, how androgens facilitate their effects in tissues, how to go about dealing with 5-alpha reductase inhibition, how to deal with the mismanagement of a you know imbalanced hormone profile and how to correct things, how to read all your blood work, how to get high sensitivity blood work, how to interpret it start to finish, how it could relate to you know potential side effects as a result of 5-alpha reductase inhibition, um, using androgen receptor inhibitors, you know all these things that they're not going to talk about. They're just going to say, you know what, like we looked at your case and it looks like you have some dry scalps. So we're going to give you this cleanser. Minoxidil, the FDA approved thing that works for everyone, use this. Here's a shampoo, maybe with ketoconazole in it. I don't even know if they have a monograph for that. Maybe they don't even have a good ketoconazole shampoo product. A laser hat with a subpar amount of diodes and LEDs on it to make it seem like it is more comprehensive when in reality it's just a overpriced hat. And no explanation whatsoever of, you know, what to look for, why this is happening to begin with. You know, if uh, actual pharmacology that's going to really, you know, make a difference in this regard, like I don't, to me, it's baffling that there's still companies that get away with this kind of stuff. Like if I was to put out something that cost $3,200 and I've actually considered something like this, it probably wouldn't be $3,200 though, but over the years I've like literally injected myself and applied topically myriads of experimental compounds to the point where I think I could justify something like this realistically, but I would literally sit down start to finish and say, these are the compounds that work. This is how to address side effects if they show up. This is how to interpret your blood work. This is what I would do in this situation. This is what I use and this is why this didn't work. Um, and go through like the A to Z of pharmacology and endocrinology rather than say, here's a fucking cleanser for your dry scalp and here's a shitty laser hat. like. This stuff pisses me off and I can't believe it's like, it's still around to be honest. Like in the age of the internet, you would think this stuff would be exposed by now and apparently it isn't, but I've never been to a place like this. So I don't, I highly doubt they're actually doing that because frankly, I haven't seen anybody 
no one really puts out content about like what actually causes hair loss and how to actually address it and you know dealing with actual like excessive amounts of androgens relative to whatever and that's creating a hormone profile that's conducive to x epigenetics all these things related how your how aggressive your hair loss is and how you know the how aggressive your treatment should be in relation to that you know the progression or the titration of dosages the titration of the aggressiveness of your regimen what is like the next level above you know like fda approved compounds and like what are the most efficacious alternatives that might be worth exploring for somebody with really aggressive loss like i don't even know how a company can justify any of these amounts like i guess they have like overhead they have a clinic they have rent to pay they have employees to play but it, to pay but it's like i don't know how you can like ethically operate a business where you know you're not actually doing shit for people and charging them over three grand like I don't know like and some of this stuff is interesting because some of this stuff is actually like fairly well reviewed like you'd think this stuff would be exposed on like a scam site but somehow people it's like they go and then they somehow get like they get optimistic about it and then their hair gets shittier and somehow they just like brush it off and think that like oh well i guess it didn't work or like you know it's just what's supposed to happen with age and like the vellus hairs i got from like this one this three thousand dollar treatment like somehow were worth it like I don't fucking know, to be honest. But anyways, if you were ever in a situation where you're going to, you know, get a quoted thousands of dollars for anything but something that educates you about how this whole proce process works and the pharmacology that's actually involved with a protocol that really works, like run for the hills because this shit is not going to do anything for you. Aggressive, like massaging, fucking LLLT with like crappy hats shampoos and conditioners like none of this stuff even like ketoconazole shampoo it's like the most mild treatment option it's not something that is going to stave off loss for like the majority of people for your entire lives like that would be wishful thinking and even that that's like the only over-the-counter shampoo ingredient that's even worth looking at in a hair loss prevention context when it comes to dealing with androgen receptor activation at the topically on the scalp so like you know, to give somebody cleansers and fucking sh extra shampoos and like all this stuff. It's like, I don't know, it like really uh, baffles me that this is a practice that's still uh, used. Like I think instead of trying to make scammy products, creating like an education system around the whole thing would be a better, you know, way to justify charging somebody a decent amount of money rather than like, here's like some fucking shitty products that don't actually work. So anyways, Take from that what you will, but my advice is to do a lot of research into what actually works. There's a lot of good references on the internet. My content I feel like is very good as well on my website and when I would highly recommend checking out that as well as subscribing to the newsletter if you actually want to get sent the articles when I publish them that have all the clinical studies length that I go into and I delve into my own personal experience with FDA approved treatments, experimental compounds, anything and everything, things that people, even exper experimental compounds that people won't even experiment with, I'm like literally fucking injecting into myself. So if you're here for some next level content in terms of air loss prevention, you've come to the right place. So subscribe if you wanna see what actually works and avoid stuff like this. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.